Because right. you don't have a phone? I'm in Providence, Rhode Island. What phone? Did you did you use a Dude, flip phone? It was, it was the orange flip phone. That was what you ended up using. You sold it. No, I iPhone? sold that. I sold that. So what you just went phoneless? Yeah. You were just senior, off the grid. Senior year of high school. Off the grid. Phoneless. Texting no bitches. No, none. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Around the Bar. Today, we have got the man in the building, the goat, the racer, the the guy, the jack of all trades, Mr. Porter. Cheers. Cheers. Today, we are drinking Double Oaked Woodford Reserve. You've got yep. an expensive palate, man. How much was it? $51.38. Oh, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's that's not, not that, bad. that bad. It's the second bougiest drink I've ever had on here. Yeah. The first uh, was a Pokemon Go YouTuber by the name of Mystic Seven. Yep. He drank something called a what was it called a snake bite, a, sna a snake something. But it was it was cr it was crazy. That's wild. A bee sting. A bee sting. That's oh, what it was called. Sting. Yeah, we we were like chopping up jalapenos. I was oh like, dude. God. And then I I was like I was like, how long have you been drinking these? He was like, oh, I had it one time at a bar, so I liked it. Dude, that's wild. I had uh the the craziest drink. I, I've ever had people in the comments will probably correct me or know what I'm talking about. Okay. Dude, it's this Polish drink. Okay. It had like, I forget, it was like vodka, Tabasco, and like a, and, and something in like a pickle or something. It was, dude, it was fucking disgusting. <laughs> I it thought was, you were going to say it was amazing. Bro, no, it was so fucking bad, but like. It, it, it turned into one of those things where everyone was like daring each other to do yeah. it. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, we're four shots in. You're like, damn, everything yeah, tastes kind of yeah, good. Yeah, now everything's good. Tabasco. Uh, yeah, the mad dog. Mad the dog. The fucking mad dog. Polish dude. mad dog. What, what's in it exactly? A shot, it's a shot. What is it? A shot of tequila. A shot of a half a shot of vodka. I think is what it said. Oh, yeah, ras raspberry syrup. Raspberry syrup and Tabasco. Tabasco. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. What? But, I mean, it, 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 I remember now is the name. It was like, you can't say no to, hey, do you want a mad dog? Yeah, like, of then, course I want a mad dog. Because then you're just a bitch. I'm a man. You're a dude. Give me three mad dogs. I'll throw them back <laughs> yeah, right now. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, we did like eight of them, and it was just me with a bunch of like sim racers in Poland. <laughs> just absolute nerds. You know what I mean? The the So so why, why double oaked Woodford Reserve? You were just trying to flex? No, it's just, it's one of the only, like I can't do Woodford Reserve like just the normal kind, mm -hmm. uh, just plain, okay. but, but double oaked, you can double oaked is well, smoother. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. I like it. We, yeah. uh, I've had, I've had, uh, rye. I think I have some here. I have some Woodford rye somewhere. I've never tried that. Yeah. It was pretty good. It was, it was very, uh, dry. So this is less dry, but yeah, yeah it's, it's very, I mean, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. I'm not, I, I've never done beer. I You're not a beer I, guy. I, I cannot do it. Out of all beer is out of all the episodes, I only had two two beer two beer drinkers, mm -hmm. and dude, Damon was throwing them. Dude, Damon was I, throwing yeah, them back. Yeah, no, Damon's a beer guy. Yeah, he yeah, is yeah, a yeah. beer. Yeah. I, I got like one six pack at yeah. Stella's. He was like, I love Stella, and I was like, all right, I got one six pack. Dog, we we were done with the six pack Still like doing the Stellas. thirty minutes in, like thirty <laughs> minutes in. I was like, damn. Wow. He was like, yeah, ever, wild. ever since I stopped smoking weed, I've been drinking Stella's. And I was <laughs> like, all right, hey, let's do this then. Yeah, I remember all the CDL pros. Well, back then it was MLG pros. Okay. You know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a... The good old dude. We had a Corona. At first it went Corona. Mm -hmm. Then it went Blue Moon. Then it went Stella. Mm -hmm. um, me personally, now I'm at the... If I drink any beer, it's Modelo. Modelo. Modelo, yeah. 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 I'm a man of culture. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But uh yeah, it was so weird because like it was every two years all the pros would same exact drink. Switch it up. And I remember just thinking like the bartender or and whoever owns the bar is like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? They're just 
pouring yeah. Red Bull vodkas and they're yeah. giving out yeah, Corona, one yeah. Corona, one one type of beer. Yeah, exactly. Just cracking open a <laughs> Corona. Here, 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 here. Here's all the Red We're Bull out vodkas. Of corona for a month. Some gamers came to town. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. It's always one person that actually lived real life. Yeah. And they're like, no, you really got to try. Uh, one one time I went like the first time I went to a bar was with uh, with Sky with Skyler um, mm. foreplay. Yep. And he. He was like, that's you got- crazy. What's it? What's his name now? Because because I call him foreplay too. I, Scott, he just goes by Skyler. He just goes by Skyler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, he'll always be like foreplay. Yeah. He's foreplay in my head. Yeah, yeah. yeah like th- I played him when I was like eleven. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how? Uh, have you ever seen that? Heard the Halo community talk about Adam Apicella? No. They all call him Clap. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, all I, call him Clap. Yeah, I call him Clap too. You do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you were yeah. a Halo well, kid. Yeah. I yeah. played Halo. <laughs> so that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That's how, that's how I feel about Skyler now. But uh he he was like he was like the first time I went to a bar really was like kind of with him. And uh he was like, You gotta try this. He cracked a corona, asked the bartender for um what is it called? Blue blue carousel, blue carousel, poured a little bit in there and it turned it like like neon blue. What the fuck? And as a kid, I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> And then I did it by myself at a yeah. bar one time. It wasn't nearly as cool. It's not as cool. I was like, it's not as cool. I was like, can you pour a little blue carousel in it? And the bartender was like, yeah, sure. And it like shakes, like does yeah. a little twist. And it's, I have a blue Corona. Yeah. And I'm like, it's not that cool of a party. Tr- it di- I, I did bop, it to try to bop, pick up girls. It yeah, didn't work. Yeah, that's not going to work. No. That's not going to work. <laughs> My blue drink is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I, to, I just, as a kid, oh, I'm not man. thinking that way. Oh, but um, yeah, so. Uh, I mean, it, it's. I mean, it's a, it's a nice little drink you got here. Yeah. Nice little drink. Do you you casually drink at home, or are you just kind of? Nah, not really. I, I dude, I think nicotine, like vaping. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, you're on it. Yeah, I'm on it. You're on. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. Dude. Worst commercial I've ever <laughs> fucking seen. What was that commercial for, dude? I think it was. Uh, what was it? G Fuel. No. I think it was. Can you look up the I'm he, Matt's probably that's already on it. He's on it. You're on it. <laughs> Bro, that was the worst fucking I, I was sitting there like, how did they get all I I'm pretty sure I said no to it. Really? Yeah. It was a Gfinity I, commercial, right? I just remember thinking, this is this that's stupid. That's straight up stupid. Oh, Seth did it? Dude, Teep did it. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's a Gfinity commercial. Yeah, but it, it I We can't we can't hear it. Oh, it's it's oh, sign up for Gfinity.net. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. And then of course people made the uh the memes. Oh dude. Wait, you're not on it? <laughs> I'm, on it. I'm, I'm on, on it. it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Mud dog. I'm on it. I'm on it. Where are you at? And then they put the music. Oh god. And there's just Adderall pills for the <laughs> For the meme, are you on it? Oh my God. Dude, I saw like I've I've seen so many like esports edits for that. Oh yeah, like yeah. not just COD. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've seen like CS ones, dude. <laughs> are you on it? Well, yeah. I'm on it. Where are you at? Shout out Sharp, wherever he is. Actually, no, he just got his sensor ring. Yeah. What did you What do you think about all the sensor rings? I think it's pr- actually pretty awesome. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I like um, it. Yeah, a lot of people like, dude. Back then was crazy. Back yes. then it, it was like people, everyone either had jobs or they were like in young high school. In, in yeah. high school, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, getting those rings now, I bet you. I mean, I, I haven't watched the full video, but I've seen all the rings. Right. Some of them are cooler than what I like. The ghost ring sucks. That, yeah, that ring fucking <laughs> sucks, dude. Dude, I, looking at like uh, Hector's rings, it's like the the IW ring. Yeah. And then, like, the Halo ring is so sick. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. can we? And then the X- COD XP one, it looks yeah. like I got it from Kmart. Like- Dude, yeah. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen that one. The the MW one, like, the the newer generation ones, I, right. I think there's only two of the, like, black ones, mm-hmm. Cold War and MW. Yeah. Those are sick. Yeah, the MW yeah. one. Yeah. You, where do you keep all your shit? Just fucking out. Just out? Yeah. You look at it? Collecting dust. <laughs> No, I mean, dude, I have so many racing trophies now that, like, it's sort of, they're sort of just there, but you have to, like, actually, you have to go up close and, like, 
sort of sift through it and look at it. I, I need a, I actually made a tweet, you know, saying I need a, I need a trophy case. Does anyone have any suggestions? It's such a baller tweet. I, I mean. <laughs> you feel like an asshole tweeting it? Not, I mean, not really, because I'm sitting there like, dude, I don't really like want to spend five thousand dollars. Yeah, I get so. that. I get that, but um, yeah. So the, I think uh, I, I think when going back to that video, the with the old trophies, like I feel like anything before what was it like the the Perico Impact COD Champs win? Yeah, it seems like anything before that people will just completely forget about. Maybe yeah. UMG Chicago is more of the cutoff yeah. point. Yeah. Like the push. But like, I feel like people just don't even, they act like it didn't happen. Yeah. You know, exactly. I mean, I, it, you know what's wild? Is if you brought up the fact that like, J-Cap in Black Ops 1 was like, considered top three. The best or, player. Or, or, yeah. the, or the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, did, I, I knew it's like one or two. But J-Cap in that game, I didn't play that game. Um, but apparently he was like yeah. the best player. And if I brought that up now, people would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, talking to Will yeah. about it. Yeah. Will was like, there's so many players that just don't get credit yeah. Yeah. because well, nowadays it's so different. Well, it's so funny, right? Because the sort of the newer generation is calling all these guys plumbers. Yeah. But in <laughs> five to ten years... The new, that generation is going to be calling you a plumber, right? So yeah, yeah. like Shotzi wasn't yeah. even good. Yeah, he exactly. played against yeah the heretics. Yeah, like he right. Right. <laughs> now what is it in in ten years from now everyone's going to be moving like Shotzi Hydra. Yeah, and what uh I don't know. I've been on a CS kick right, and I sort of watched some of the the old videos, and it's like it's really interesting because they're saying that in COD, mm -hmm. right? But I see it in CS. Where like no one's gonna call Get Right a plumber, yeah. no fucking chance. No one's calling like Olaf Meiser a plumber. Right. No one's calling the, like it's really weird that sort of. The, I guess it's more of like the community. Yeah. Um, so this is, we can blame it on the Zoom Mafia. That's fine. <laughs> well, if you well, want to. Well, well, there's just like a <laughs> huge lack of respect to those people in the COD community, where in other communities like in esports, you're not gonna see that. So yeah, it's it's really. It's, it's kind of weird. I think it's interesting that the Halo community is kind of opposite. It seems yeah, like yeah, yeah. It seems even like, though it's controller, it's constant. Exactly. Yeah. It seems like Halo One, Halo Two, especially Halo Three, yeah. gets almost more recognition, yeah. more respect yep. than the new the new eras. I mean, yeah. what what would our even? I mean, a, a few of you guys. I mean, with the I, I'm guessing you, Clay, Seth, Cap, like a few of you guys did did it all. Yeah. Because you played COD 4, right? Yeah. Like PCLs and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. COD 4 was sort of the first year um, in 08. Uh, we had a fucking ragtag team of little twerps, dude. <laughs> it was uh, it was me, this guy named Big Shot, okay. uh, Reality, who was a nine-year-old, who ended up, <laughs> dude, he's probably, he's probably at the NSA right now, dude. <laughs> like, I'll tell you a story. And then this guy named Look It's Dopey. Look, it's dope, bro. Those those two guys, dude. So, dopey actually, it's fun, it's crazy shit. I, I've said this maybe once or twice. Okay. Because again, the exclusive, but okay. sort of my first experience on a pro Call of Duty team was this guy, this Canadian fourteen year old named Look, it's dopey. Okay. He disappeared for like a full week, right? And we didn't know, like, we couldn't text him. He wasn't signing on or anything like that. Yeah. Apparently. So he came back. He's like, I'm back, boys. And he's like, and I got a story for you. So he fucking tripped out on shrooms. 14. Yeah, at 14. Okay. Was lost in the Canadian wilderness, like the <laughs> forest. The, apparently the, I don't know if it's a fireman or like paramedics. Okay. But they found him butt ass naked. And apparently he was trying to fight them. <laughs> and he was in the forest for like five days. Dude, and, and are you sure this isn't just what a fourteen-year-old told you, and you no, just kind of ran no, with it? No, I mean this, this guy was was hardcore. <laughs> this guy was a fourteen-year-old, and he was pretty much like he, his life was already over. <laughs> <laughs> but he, apparently, yeah, they they had to strap him down in the ambulance, like when what he was the when they're pulling him back to the hospital. He's like, yeah, they strapped me down like from you know head to toe. So oh I my move. god. And then uh, Reality, the nine-year-old, um, 
our first ever <laughs> pro circuit ladder playoff match okay. was against Envy. Okay. Right? And our match time was 8 p.m. My parents pulled the internet cord at 6 p.m. So I couldn't fucking play. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and, and it was Envy with Hashro. Right? right. And I remember talking to Hashro. I was like, hey, I don't know if it's Hashro or Foreplay yeah. or Sid, Sid Rock. Sid Rock. Yeah. Um, who's the other? Stainville. Stainville, yeah. 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 And I don't remember who I was talking to there, but we're like, hey, can we play it a little bit earlier? Or, so, or, like, yeah, yeah, or yeah. like, but they booked it the next day. Okay. So the day before the actual scheduled time. And of course, we didn't show up and they fucking forfeited us. <laughs> so reality got so pissed off. He's like, I'm going to learn how to DDoS. <laughs> and dude, he, at nine years old, he, he like basically figured out how to DDoS. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it didn't happen overnight. The whole indie yeah. house is just... Yeah, no, no, no. Well, basically, we played it out. We got third. No one got fucking hit offline or anything like that. But then the next year, because that was the last one, the next year I found out that he was like, he actually knew how to do it, and he was fucking doing it. And I'm like, bro, get the fuck away from me. You just thought every get... team that you were playing against just happened to get no, offline? No, no, no. He would do it in eights. He'd be like, oh, what? you're talking shit to me? Hold up. I'll hold you yeah. offline for the next yeah. two uh, hours. Uh, yeah, and then he would do it in eights. It, back then, it wasn't eights. It was just like, you know, yeah. us just playing. There's no Scrims money or, or pickups or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there, and anyone who tried to shit talk him, they would just go offline in the next two minutes. <laughs> I'm like, yo, reality, I can't fucking team with you, dude. <laughs> like, you can't do this shit. You were the voice of reason dude, at 15. Yeah, dude, I was like, I was like 12, 13 years old, <laughs> oh telling a 10 God. year old. Yeah, like yo, you can't. Everyone do on this. our team was, you know, fourteen or under. Good lord. Yeah, that is, wow, that is insane. Yeah, uh, 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 survive, survived in the wilderness, dude. But naked yeah. Canadian, yeah. tripping off shrooms. He, he was sort of, <laughs> he was sort of Damon, before Damon. Like, like, okay, okay, all of Damon's mannerisms. Yeah, like. That was look it could have been Canadian. It could have been. Damon. It could have been Damon. Damon could be look it's dope. <laughs> <laughs> no one's really run this by him. I wonder when was the last time you talked to any of those four or any of those three? Fucking years. I can't imagine. I can't imagine him telling you that whole story. Like, yeah, I was butt naked. Cops. Dude, he was so, he me was, down. He was so hyped about. It, like he was bragging about it. And then he was just like, all right. It's it's a, it's overgrown sabotage. <laughs> like I, I can't imagine that switch up. It's so crazy. Oh, it's dude. so crazy. Yeah. So then so then what happens after COD four? COD four, I because after that is what World of War. No, well, yeah. But then there's I, another. Yeah. So I always say like, what are when people ask me like, what's the best COD? Yeah. Right. I always say probably COD four. Um, Black Ops 2, you know, gameplay was better. Yeah. But we're still using the same structure in Call of Duty games that COD 4 started with. Yeah. I mean, dude, if you go from, because I played COD 3 as well, dude, you were riding in fucking like motorcycles on COD 3. And then all of a sudden, COD 4, you have prestiges, you have attachments, right. yeah. you have fucking red dots, camos. You have levels, camos. Yeah. You didn't have any, like in COD 3, you'd play one match, lose all the progression going into the next one. And yeah, you, know, you would level up in the game, but not like from game to game. Does See, I don't sense? even, dude. I I've never played one life of COD three. Dude, I played that game for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I remember I got COD three and Gears of War one. Yeah, same time, and I ended up returning COD three within a week. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I was like, this game is trash. That's bad. And then all of a sudden they went like, I think that, I don't know if it was made by the same studio. It's Treyarch, right? Mm, I made no, COD 3? I don't know who made COD 3. Oh, uh, I thought it was Treyarch. But I know IW made COD 4. Mm -hmm. um, but still, the craziest turnaround. Yeah, I played COD 2 for the first yeah, time I like played COD 2 three well. weeks ago. Yeah, really? For, for the for, first, first time, time? First time ever. Oh, my God. We were trying to do a video, which didn't pan out, but we'll probably reshoot it. Yeah. Where we play a 3v3 S&D in every COD ever made. Yeah. Except COD 3. Fuck that game. Dude, COD 3. <laughs> Game's unplayable. <laughs> there was literally tanks. You could drive tanks around in maps, dude. Well, that's how World of War, dude. I'm trying to play World of War right now to try because I'm also doing a different video where I try to hit a quad feed in every COD, and I only have two more left. One of them is World of War, dude. That game is awful. Yeah, that game is awful. I I remember <clears throat> buying it, 
I didn't even get to level 50. In World of War? Yeah. And I was like, I, that game came out, and the whole pro COD scene was just like, now nah, let's Ooh. keep playing COD 4. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish we could still do that. Yeah. We would have not wasted a Dude, couple years. Dude, I can't years. believe they don't play Sabotage in the pro league. I think, and anyone who plays COD 4 back in the day, like they'll tell you that was the coolest game mode. I've heard that for years. Ye- I've never it even. It is so fucking good. When I played COD 4, we only played S and D, so I never yeah. even. I didn't pl- start playing variant or dabbling into variant yeah. until Modern Warfare 2. Well, dude, they're so worried about. I think the the devs are because no one played it in public matches, mm. and that's the real fucking reason. Uh, f- as for like tournament organizers they don't necessarily want to push for it yeah because over time like you can have a three i think there was a three hour long sabotage map that's that, hype that, that they just played over and over and over and over <laughs> yeah and I, I think that's sick i've heard the stories yeah. of it yeah it was like in a final right yeah yeah, yeah. and because it, it, it goes to radar always on tdm TD- <laughs> and you don't want to fucking move dude <laughs> you're like you don't want to be that guy that, that gets blooded but i think nowadays with the cdl and just the way movement is and the way maps are, like, yeah, that's not possible. Like, like it's going to end on that over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But, the yeah, I think yeah, I think it, it would just be, you would have to go, like, fucking, you would have to have, like, an unlimited game timer. Yeah, yeah. And just, you play until somebody explodes that fucking yeah, bomb. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because <laughs> that, that, it's such a, it's such a hype. I played it in pubs, but, but I never played it in, uh, like, competitive. But yeah. I think it would be fun. Well, what and besides Uplink, yep. What was what's your favorite third game mode? Hard hardpoint. You mean besides Sabotage? Hard is that is Sabo your favorite? Sabo is my favorite. You know, yeah. Played it for two years, I think, because it's basically one flag, CTF, CTF, yeah. But with S and D, mixed with a fucking wild twist for overtime. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I I remember playing like Envy on overtime and you just press the start button pull up the map and you see like them forming a fucking square like imagine the my fingernails are the opponents right and i'm like dude they're, they're in a they're in a fucking formation right now dude <laughs> they're boxing us <laughs> yeah, out they're, they're literally like how who are we gonna go for in this scenario they're, they're literally in a fucking square <laughs> so yeah what the, those days yeah. man the, the yeah. you would those days i would just go to game battles and i would just look at at the top teams. Oh yeah. Like Envy is like there. I saw they broke a thousand, a thousand wins, and I'm like That's a thousand wild. wins. Yeah. And then Fear, of course, broke uh, yep. was up there too. Yeah. What? What? Those are the fucking days. And then, and so you played, you played both years of COD Four, and then, and then what? Like, what? Do you still play Call of Duty, or do you no, go to? No. Halo? Then I went to Halo. Um, in Halo Three, I was really fucking good. Okay. Um, let me guess. Pat- it was your teammate's fault. Nope. <laughs> I no, I couldn't even get on a team. Oh, okay, okay. Because I had no land points, so I had no oh, like, like back then. Like if you got top thirty two, like thirty second, mm-hmm. you got four points, or I believe it was four. Yeah. Um, and people would literally put that shit in their bio and get picked up on teams because they had fucking four points, <laughs> and I'm sitting there with zero points, right? And no one wanted to like picked me up on a team and and pac-man at the time was like placing pro and he knew who i was and he's like yeah you're pretty good at halo 3 and that was like the only person in halo who knew who i was and then pac-man re- was playing halo yeah pac-man was like oh, uh, i forget what his team that's a national was. champ right yeah there. that's a national champ that's what i'm talking about um yeah but then sort of got a lucky break and reach uh nated was doing like some subs- like subscriber fucking matches or, oh, or really? like custom games he and still I was, does that shit yeah and i was just shitting on everyone like i'm talking <laughs> like i dropped like an overkill with 24 kills yeah or something like that and i think that's what sort of got me promoted or not promoted but pushed up the ladder yeah, yeah. and so you go to what how many events do you go to in reach uh all of them yeah we uh i actually ended up having to sell my cell phone to pay for the plane ticket. Holy shit. Uh, How old are you? I was 18. Damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was in that that year of Halo Reach, I was doing AP Physics, AP Calc, went home. Like se- senior year of high school. I had two classes. Two classes. And I, 
I purposely made it the two morning classes. Yeah. So I could go home and scrim because most people were East Coast, right? Okay. So I'd get home at like 10 a.m., maybe do my homework, and then noon came around and it, like we were scrimming. So for Halo. Yeah, for Halo. Holy shit. And I remember I sold my cell phone to pay for the plane ticket and I seen my like strong side then in what Halo the Reach. Fuck? Okay. Yeah. And I remember getting to the hotel and not I was like fuck. Cuz we we'd only get one room, right? One room right. for like five people. For, yeah, yeah, everyone's sleeping on the floor. And I'm like shit, none of my teammates are here. So I sat there and just waited for like six hours. In the lobby? Yeah, in the lobby until I saw one of them. <laughs> because I was like, I can't text them. Yeah. You, know? like, you don't have a phone? I'm in Providence fucking Rhode Island. What phone? Did you, did you use a Dude, flip it phone? Was, it was the orange flip phone. That was what you ended up using? You sold it? No, I sold that. I sold that. So what, you just yeah. went phoneless? Yeah. You were just senior, off the grid. Senior year of high school. Off the grid. Phoneless. Texting no bitches. No, none. <laughs> None. <laughs> Just yep. about that gaming life. <laughs> what? Yep. What was your first LAN? Uh, first LAN was Dallas. In and that was Halo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I almost got dropped pre-event. Um, my teammates were worried about me not showing up because you're so young. Yeah, because well, I was like no points in Halo Three. Didn't go to single LAN because <laughs> no one would play with me. Yeah. Um, and we. I basically went there, flew there with my mom, <laughs> and they, they like they tell this story that like they, we were, they were gonna drop me on Thursday and get someone else for if, Friday. Yeah, if I didn't show up. Okay. It, or like if I didn't meet them in the their hotel room, you know, this quick. Yeah. And they were like, you got thirty minutes, and I, and I remember replying like. All right, I'll be there in a sec. My mom's making me a sandwich. <laughs> she was literally making me a sandwich, and I showed up. And then, like, we got – we placed pro. <laughs> yeah. We got top 16. And uh, later on, they told me, like, dude, if you showed up, like, if you didn't make that 30 minutes, like, you were dropped. Damn. Who was that oh, team? Oh, dude, that, that team – our team was called Door Equals Gym. Door <laughs> Equals Gym. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my teammates were a guy named Bullets who does uh, World Series of Poker. Now. Okay. Yeah. A guy named uh, – Forget what the, it was. It was M M. It was something milk. Marshall Matt. It was something mommy milk. milk. It was no. It was, I don't know what it was, but he was basically uh, that guy from the boys. You know his name's the Milk. Like mm -hmm. they call him M M. I've never seen the boys. No. Dude, it was it was weird. <laughs> okay. uh, when when I watched the boys and then the guy's name is M M and one of them's Milk. I was like, whoa, like that's that, fucking weird. That's my old that's Halo. That's my old <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this other guy named Minority. And that event, yeah, that that was wild. Because I was just sitting there, like, just shitting on people. And then we got to the pro league or the pro matches. Yeah. Just started getting shit on. And we're just like, fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. the, like, the difference is yeah, crazy. Yeah, the difference is wild. <laughs> I remember that tournament – I always give Nick Merck's shit about this. Yeah. Right? Because I uh, we beat the Insanes, which yeah. Nick Merck's was on. Yeah, all right? caps yeah, with a three, yeah, right? Yeah, the fucking Gears of War. Yeah, team. the Gears team. We beat them for pro bracket, for pro league. Okay. So we were basically pro the rest of the year, and, and they weren't. Damn. And then Nick. Nick could have been double pro. And then, yeah, but then Nick went into streaming after that. that really? Was, that was it. Yeah. So Gears was, so his Gears career yeah. was before that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. And then he went to Halo and then sent his ass home. and Sent his ass home. And now he's a, now he's a multi-million. Yeah, he's a <laughs> fucking global icon, dude. It's all because of you. All because of this Halo Reach match. <laughs> and, and, dude, I talked to him about it and his teammate, this guy, dude, the biggest onliner of all time. His name is Rapture. Okay. He gets like 20 kills minimum in a Slayer every map online. Right. On land, that map, he got like fucking four or five. For game five. Dude online back then yeah it was unbelievable it, it yeah. wait was halo halo wasn't peer-to-peer -peer, was it it was it was dedicated servers online i don't know uh, back then i was just an idiot playing games yeah i don't know either yeah because people whenever no, I, there well there was host oh there was so it was yeah, oh yeah. it was peer-to-peer yeah. or whatever it's yeah. called player to player host yeah. 
That because, dude, the advantage you have when you are host back in the day. Oh, when there's no, dude, it, there's no hit scan. There's fucking dark. Like if you had a hundred by fifteen, yeah, you you had godlike internet, dude. A yeah. hundred down. There's aim assist was non-existent. Yeah, fucking uh, input delay dude. on even the old systems was insane. Yeah, back then. So still, yeah, dog right. shit monitors. Like nowadays, you have. Di- oh yeah, yeah. There was no millisecond. Yeah. It was seconds. It was in seconds, not milliseconds. People don't, like, <laughs> like they'll go watch those like old clips and. Like, if you never played back then, you don't realize how hard it was to aim. Oh, dude. Everything was working against you. That's why whenever we we do these throwbacks, yeah. like when you play on those oh, 360s, people, are get shit people it always takes Someone's like Someone's going to get shit two on. rounds yeah. before somebody, before the, every, before it starts looking off. like COD yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that clip of Zuma getting, I think he got 180 last year. And it's just like, it's just like dude, it's so hard, though. It's yeah. so hard to, to retrain your brain, but you yep. can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Quick interruption before we continue the podcast. If you would like to support Around the Bar even further so that we can continue to get guests in, fly guests in, put them up in nice-ass hotels so that that we can have a drink and chat together, uh, please consider subscribing to the Patreon. There's a lot of cool content in there. We have an extension of the podcast, which is extra time with myself and the guests. We also have a couple shows. We have beer pong, and we have some relationship advice. We have a lot of cool stuff going on in the Patreon, so if you would please go check it out and support myself and Matt as we try to make this dream a reality. <laughs> All right, back to the podcast. Uh, so you're a fucking racer now. Yep. For people, there's I am probably in the same boat as a lot of other people out there, that yep. a lot of other COD fans. Can you explain like I'm five? What the fuck happened? How? Because I was like, oh, you're gonna you're gonna pretend race. And then you were real racing. Yeah. And now you're real racing all the time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so where do I start? So I knew my agent mm-hmm. was working a deal with Porsche and Face. And I knew okay. about, I knew about that before the subliners here. Like okay. like in the off season. And I was thinking, okay, you know what? Like driving is sort of my dream now. Like, I'm going right. to just do one more year. So I knew that subliners year was, that was it. That was your last year. Yeah. Um, so I knew, like, afterwards, like, I was going to try to get involved in that deal. Okay. Because I knew that, like, hey, if they're going to sponsor a gaming org, right, this might be my one shot Okay. to actually convert into the racing world. Um, you know, and then it was sort of weird, like, when I – like when I retired, I started immediately building that sim racing rig, right? Yeah. And no one knew why. Why? <laughs> yeah. Right? I thought you were just, going were just like, into this passion. guy's fucking losing his mind. <laughs> I was, I was yeah, there. Yeah. I was about to text you, like, Yo, yeah. are you good? Yeah. Everything good. <laughs> yeah. But that was, dude, it was all sort of mapped out in my head mm-hmm. to do all this. Um, where, where it sort of fell apart, not fell apart, but hit a roadblock speed bump, right? Yeah. Was that they weren't sure about doing like a sim racing pro league. Okay. And then I was sort of like cut out of the equation then, um, even though, you know, had the Porsches, right? Like, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. And, uh, anyways, I get a call like a month and a half later. I think maybe it's two months later. I'd already sim race for like three weeks. Right. I was like, damn, this is really fucking complicated. Like it's incredibly complicated. Um, three, three months or two months go by, whatever it was a month. And then I get a call saying like, Hey, they're back on for the pro league. Uh, the first race is in Poland in like, it was like 72 hours, 48 hours. And I'm sitting there like with sort of like, this is sim racing. Yeah. Sim racing. And I'm like, fuck, I'm going to get shit on. And right. they're like, yeah, we know like that's not really expected. You yeah, know, for you to do well. They didn't even tell me there was a prize. I showed up and I see like there's half a million dollars in prizes. <laughs> and I'm like, they didn't even fucking say a word about this to Holy me. Holy shit. They know I'm going to get dumpstered. And, you know, that's what happened. Yeah. Because no prep. And, uh, yeah. And then the pro league happened and I was just like, wow, this, if I pull this off, this might be the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. So, 
after that, it was, I don't know. It, it was like a rough spot because I'm like, dude, I might be two or three years out. Right. From getting from competing at the sim racing pro level. Yeah. And that's like grinding every single day. Yeah. And it's it's a lot more difficult in sim racing because you don't have like you can't play 10 hours a day. You might be able to last like your legs yeah. will get sore. Your arms will get sore. Uh, the biggest thing is like you're mentally you're doing the same track over and over and over and over again. Yeah. So you were, it, you were telling me earlier, you can't listen to music. Yeah. You can't listen you to can't, music. You can't check your phone. You can't yep. do any, it's, it's full yeah. percent locked yeah. at all times. Yeah. yeah. And, insane. and the, the biggest issue though was it wasn't pulling the viewers. So I sort of had to make the decision like, Hey, do I keep doing the pro league or, you know, try to do something different oh because you were streaming it yeah well i was streaming it but it was just like no one wants to watch three tracks for an entire year right yeah because yeah. the game was still in beta okay like the game is still not even out yet what is the name of it, the it game it's called ren sport ren sport yeah okay and uh yeah i mean so i basically as i pulled out of doing the pro league um i met all everyone from the rafa racing club at a track day because my buddy that I had done track days with when I was doing CDL stuff. Yeah. So I was just doing it for peace, right? Just mm -hmm. for get away from everything. Uh, he was doing data and coaching for them. And then that's how I connected with Rafa Racing. I'm like, you know, couple, I think we went twice. Okay. Uh, two different track days at Coda. And on the second one, I was like, you know, I'll do anything to race in real life. Like, and keep in mind, I'm fat. I'm like 250 pounds. Um, when yeah, was that? This know. was three, two years ago. Uh, no, this was like a year ago, a year, ago. literally a year ago from today. And, okay. uh, yeah, basically just, you know, shot my, uh, shot your shot, shot my shot. Slid in those DMs. Yeah, and then I was like, you know, they're like, come back for F1 Austin. Uh, the following, or in, what, a week or so, two weeks? Right. I don't know what it was. Uh, and then they told me, you're going to be racing next year. So I got, like, incredibly lucky. What the fuck? I think the fact that I was partnered with Porsche, okay. you know, uh, that definitely helped. Yeah. Um, the weird thing about Porsche is, like, we were sponsored by the, uh, and FaZe was sponsored by, like, the brand side. Okay. Not so much the manufacturing side. So, okay. so like, there's two different parts of Porsche. I forget. It's, like, AG and something. Matt, right. if you want to look that up. I, but completely separate entities, even though they have the same name. Okay. So they actually have nothing to do with motorsport, but I was still aligned with Porsche. So, and oh, then, really? And that's when, yeah, they were like, yeah, let's do it. Porsche Sprint Challenge. Okay. So. So then, so then it's, in order to do this, you got to get in shape and you've got to... Yeah, so... Like, do you rent a car like you rent a horse? So, like, I shot my shot. Yeah. And then F1 Austin, you know, a couple of weeks away. Okay. I immediately started going to the gym twice a day. So, yeah. barely eating. And I remember by the time I... From when I shot my shot to Austin, when they told me, right, I had lost like 25 pounds or like 20 pounds, um, which that's not saying much when you're like 250, so... You turn into gym six. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just sort of preemptively yeah. showed how, like, dedicated I am to okay. it. Okay. Um, which, it's a, it's a really weird thing in the racing community because I was, like, in gaming, even when I was a big man, right, <laughs> I was – I would say I'm more fit than a lot of people there. Like, right. Like, even though I'm fat, but I still have, like, muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? In racing – I, I, dude, I felt like a beluga whale out there, bro. <laughs> like, everyone is shredded. Everyone is, like, fit. No one's – there's not a single person that's, like, you know, out of shape. Right. So I was like, damn, shit's – like, this is a different world. I need to change what yeah. I'm doing. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So lost a bunch of weight. And then they told me at F1 Austin. I was like, damn, what the fuck is my life? You that know, is this, insane. Yeah. Somebody just took a risk. Like, yeah, yeah, they just, just took, took a risk. risk. And – 
to put things into perspective, so I'm not getting paid to race. Okay. But I'm not paying either, okay. which is fucking the opportunity of a lifetime. Really? Okay. Yeah, because so for one car, just for my car, you know, seven weekends, we're talking 14 races, total of maybe, I don't know, 21 days, 20, 20 to 25 days of racing, driving. Okay. Dude, it's like 300 grand or like 600 grand. Really? Just for me. Holy so, shit! So yeah, that's how expensive it is. So, are, so are the are you, the people you're competing against? Are they paying for themselves? Uh, like yeah. some of the racers? Yeah, everyone's paying for themselves except you. Yeah. Well, no. There's the Rafa Racing did a female female shootout. Okay. And basically, it was just a, a group of females, you know, competing against each other. Right. And the the winner is my teammate Caroline. Okay. Uh, she's from France. So she's not paying either, and then pages and either like Ralph is funding it all, right? You know, and it's wow. like, he, dude, I've never seen someone so happy. Yeah, in oh, their I life, can dude, imagine. dude. When he gets out of the car and takes off his helmet, yeah, bro, he's so fucking stoked. Like it's the <laughs> coolest shit ever. That is dope. Um, yeah, but and Porsche Sprint Challenge. For those of you who have been wondering, like where it is, like you know, tier wise, yeah. I can't really it's not really comparable to Call of Duty. Um I would say it's like more like baseball, like it's there's single A, right? Mm-hmm. It'd be like single A. Maybe double A. Okay. Um Wait, I think there's I, I was I was viewing it more as like in in soccer. Like soccer there's yeah, but there's, I know you don't watch soccer. There's, yeah. There's uh there's like six different leagues and the yeah. top league everyone tries to get to the top yeah, league yeah. yeah so ours is it's more of like a <clears throat> what type can i can i see your car can you show me his car yeah i want to see like what type of cars you, i don't even know what so type of cars it's like you sports drive. car racing so basically okay, okay. just cars on the street that are highly modified to be race cars okay like formula one that's open wheel and there's nascar right, right which is I stock car racing okay um or oval racing what okay. i'm doing is like it's a mix between technically it's a mix between like nascar type cars okay on mix i don't know how to okay so is that I, your, is that your so car? so all it is is a cayman gt4 okay uh which is an actual street car and then up there you see a mclaren 570s mm, you hit the line a little bit right there I'm just kidding. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, it's it actually a perfect apex. That's not the apex. Um, yeah, but okay. I mean, it's all stripped out. There's no second seat. Right. Yeah. Right? There's a roll cage that's incredibly uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, it's like a full cage. You have a cage in front of you. You have a cage. Wow. Um, look at that fucking picture. To the side. Yeah. So it's it's really weird. These cars don't look like it doesn't look that insane. I mean, it looks a little bit insane, but. It's sort of, you yeah. Know, it, it looks like a souped up, yeah, street car. Yeah, like you, right. you, you think you might be able to see this at like in a fucking Fast and Furious movie yeah. or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. at a drift meet or something. Absolutely. Um, but that car, you know, five hundred twenty horsepower slicks. I, it goes around like like multiple times we've hidden, like every single track is between one fifty to one seventy. Okay. On the straights, okay. in miles an hour, so it's fast. And it's it's fucking wild. Like, yeah. if I gave you a ride, you'd be fucking screaming. You, uh, that's you, already yeah. how it was in the scuff house. Yeah, uh, when you gave me a and ride, dude. That was what, that was when I was a trash driver. <laughs> I would I was con compared to where I'm at now. Like I was fucking bad. So how do you practice? Sim racing uh, on the sim. Yep, <clears throat> on iRacing. One okay. of my sponsors. I'm actually I'm sponsored by a game. That's that's fire. That's wild. Yeah, iRacing. So oh, a sim a simulation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not um, a game. That is. See, so, so click that image on the left. Left. On the, the left. That one. Which one? No, down. Yeah. Uh, up. up. That one. This one. No. This one. This <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The 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 picture of the car down. There. Uh, yes. So you see iRacing logo. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I do. 
Okay, that's that is fire. So so yeah. so what's the goal? What's the dream? Dream is Le Mans. What's that? Twenty four hours of Le Mans. What's that? I'm sorry. Cook Tell, talk. I'm. So, do you know? Collins, cook them. Uh, yeah, it's a twenty four hour race. Yeah, a twenty four hour race. In France. Yeah, it's probably uh, biggest race in the world. The biggest race in the world. I mean, I went there. It's not the Daytona five hundred though. <laughs> <laughs> That's for damn sure. I know that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I went to Le Mans. Oh wow! In it, twenty. How, how how have I never heard of this? So they. I mean, it's. It's because this type of racing isn't really popular popular here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But in the rest of the world, it's huge. So what type of car is so, that? So those are hyper cars. Okay. Um, Le Mans will have hyper cars, which are pretty close to F1. Like all close to F1. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Slower, obviously. Um, it's a fucking NASCAR. I was, I was there at that race. Um, yeah. Huh. And the NASCAR was there. Uh, but yeah, so I went to the 100th Le Mans. How the fuck do they race for 24 hours? So they have like four drivers. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so it's not they, just. Yeah. And then they'll rotate. <laughs> okay. Um, I was like, are they coked out? Like, dude, how is dude, it? Dude, you should see it. The cars just get beat to shit. Like, oh, like I they'll can. come back like dirty and stuff. And it's actually really cool when they win. They'll just clear up, clear wrap the car and preserve like all the dirt and all the battle scars and all that shit. So right. When a car wins, they just keep it as is. See? Wow. Like. Whole, and that was a brand new. That was like yeah, spotless when they yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, spotless. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. So, so, so it's endurance racing, right? That's what I want to do. So you want to be on a you want to be on a team of four. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I yeah, mean, yeah. So you see the sides, bottom right. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's, so is it is it is it kind of like um like. Because I've I heard that F one drivers like you got to start. It's kind of like chess. You got to start when you're three years old. Yeah. Is that how is that how this t is too? Do you feel like you're too late in the game or? No. So, hold on. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm just trying to learn. No. I'm trying to ask no, you all the car no, questions actually, I can. It's actually super complicated. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in Le Mans, uh, Matt, if you want to type in uh, Le Mans GT three. So. The way it works, right, is there's a ranking system put in a place. Okay. Uh, which is like F1, your FIA rating would be super. Right. Then there's platinum, then there's gold, then there's silver, then there's bronze, right? It's rank play. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. so imagine rank play. <laughs> okay, okay. Right? <clears throat> uh, you got to form a team with one bronze, one silver, one gold. Oh, okay. So, so you're trying to be the bronze. Yeah, well, basically the way it works is anyone who has started racing above 30 is a bronze. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so technically I'm a bronze right now. Okay. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think if you so, were to... So, so if I'm... And the way that ranking system works is only for GT3s or LMP2. So like those hyper cars, those crazy looking cars, Yeah. that's only platinums. Right, right. So that's like, that's like best of the best... Okay, only so, fucking pros. So there's different Le Mans. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so you're trying to go to the... There's different rules and stuff. So okay. GT3 cars. GT3 Le Mans is what you're trying or, to go for. Yeah, or LMP2. Okay. Wow. Hell yeah. So what are, what are your thoughts... As a as a now racer, what are your thoughts on the difference between NASCAR and F1? Oh, dude. You, li you yeah, like NASCAR, all racing? No, or you NASCAR's whacked. No, really? Bro, I th Don't I be talking about my people like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're from. I'm from North Carolina. Yeah, yeah you're from North Carolina. Every Sunday bro. after church, we bro, did you see there. that F or not? Uh, sorry, NASCAR like uh, series on Netflix. No, I haven't bro, seen it. It's yet. like every driver home. It's like so in such and such city, North Carolina, <laughs> North Carolina, <laughs> yeah, North yeah, Carolina. Yeah. Every there's single one. Of, I'm sitting there like, bro. There's a lot gotta, of dirt tracks. Does in anyone North else live like at least <laughs> where's a fucking Florida or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I know it requires technique, but yeah. like driving on a road course where you go from track to track and everything's different. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like there might be some corners that are similar, but none of them are the same. Right. You know, and, and, and oval racing, it's, that's the same thing. Right. right? right. Where it's like, you know, you're just fucking just, turning, you're turning left. Right. Yeah. Um, I actually really like, like, see, here's the thing with NASCAR is I have no... 
I think the fact that they're doing street courses and like actual layout, like track layouts, I think that's fucking awesome. Like I'll watch those NASCAR races. Oh, they're they're yeah. doing those? Yeah, yeah. Have they always done them? I don't know. Um, I don't know how recently, but they're doing them now. Oh, okay, um, that's cool. Yeah, but the oval stuff, not really a fan of. Um, probably the most anti-American thing I could say. That is probably. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean not really. To be fair, I'd rather be a European driver. Dude, they they know how to drive in Europe. Yeah, and I just, think are you saying just regular yeah. people? <laughs> yeah, just regular. Well, dude, it comes down to their roads are fucking shit. Dude, dude they're insane. They, their roads are like, dude, you, you know, if you're on your cell phone going through the mountains there in Europe, like you could go off the road and that's it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. here in Texas, I could drive from Dallas to Austin only using my knees. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah like, that's true. It's just straight lines everywhere, and that's where I think it all sort of comes from. I think I saw a um, – I either saw or heard, or maybe I'm making it up, but um, one of the NASCAR drivers – People, people were, uh, was asked somewhere uh, if street driving is kind of ruined now that, like, yeah. since every time you're behind a wheel, do you want yeah. the adrenaline rush? Is that how it is for yes. you? Yes, <laughs> dude, yes. I couldn't even ask the question. Bro, yes. No, it's it's literally. Because you get behind a, you, your dude, day-to-day dude. car is a Porsche. No, so, it's, no, I sold it. Oh, you sold yeah, it. Yeah, I just uh, have the Jeep, so. Okay. Um, you sold it for your own well-being. Yeah. No, I literally just needed the money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but day to day driving completely ruined. I'm like a grandma now. I'll go the speed limit. I'm yeah. fucking turn signals left and right. <laughs> you know, I'm not really merging any lanes without doing that. Right. Um Yeah, it's just the thrill is like once you know what you can do, right? And it's it's like not possible on the street, right? Yeah. It's not possible. So you don't get the Yeah. You don't get, the, you don't even like, want to try it. You don't even want to do like it. How many times are you, you know, when you break hard? Yeah. And you're in the, it's what's called ABS. Yeah. Yeah. How many times in your life have you done that? Twice. So on a race, any racetrack, you're probably doing that. Say if there's like 15 corners, you're doing that like 13 times a lap. You're in the ABS 13 times. A lot. Holy shit. Yeah. I didn't even think about it you're, like that. You were fucking, like, the braking is significantly different. So, like, you're, so you what actually I, have to fucking slam on the brake. What I did when I screamed when there was a deer in front of me is what you do 13 times a lap. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. I never even thought, I never even, yeah, never even put it into that perspective Dude, before. Dude, and the, uh, the craziest things are, like, when you're doing a high-speed corner, like, our cars are, you know, I rode America turn one. Okay. I'm going like minimum speed is like 110. Okay. Through a corner. You know, and, and and it's all like like you have to slow down. You can't slow down too much, then you're slow. If you slow down too little like you, the car doesn't fucking turn. You know what I right. mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. or you just spin. So the weird part is like you have to know how to release the brake without disrupting the car, without like spinning or like when yeah. you're actually pushing the limit of the car. If you come off too quick or too slow, like you're not gonna, the car's not gonna do what you what, what you, you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What are your thoughts? And it's fucking terrifying. Like G, like I'm not. Even, we're not even pulling high G. Yeah. We're doing like that's maybe two G. Okay. F1. They're doing like. I don't even want to know how much G force they're doing in like twice as much. How fast least. are they going in F1? Like two uh, hundred. Well, well, through corners they can do. They can do like fucking. 180 your corners <laughs> like, like turn it's literal pod like, racing like, like dude i think you, they could probably do turn one they don't do f1 at road america like we have to break downshift two gears okay um just to make it through the corner fast right i think in f1 they could probably do it like flat just full acceleration just what go, go through it yeah holy shit I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know shit about cars. So part of a lot of our conversations is me trying to keep up, yeah. but me, even me keeping up, that's mind blowing. Yeah. Cause I, I don't, I, I'm just, I've never even, I think it's all. So racing is all physics, right? Okay. Right? Like Makes the sense. way that an F1 car is able to do that is because of the downforce. Okay. Because of the, you know, the car is really lightweight. You have weight pushing down on the car. Right. You have super wide, like, like, the cars are designed to do that. Yeah. Our cars, what we're driving, 
are designed to be sold up for the streets. Right. And yeah. And then yeah. they're stripped out, put a roll cage in, mm-hmm. you know, different parts here and there. Um, Damn. So they're not really, so it's, it's what GT4 is, what I'm racing. Right. Which is a step below like GT3. Mm-hmm. Um, is basically we're tr- trying to drive street cars converted into race cars really fast. Yeah. GT3 is like, like they used to be road cars, just the, the look. Yeah. But everything underneath is fucking full blown race car. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that so, makes sense. yeah. So GT4, like, the the pedal the throttle you know like the actual plates are the same the interior is sort of the same yeah um and gt3 car is completely different it's just a full race G- car gt3 cars have like rear view cameras that have fucking radar on them so like like imagine um what does that even mean so imagine a camera on the back right gotcha and you can see it on a screen so if, it, if a car comes like off to this say this is you yeah right this is you. This is the other car. You can see it on the camera. All of a sudden, you can't, right? It will come up on the screen as like a red icon <laughs> or like a red fucking arrow. Like Star Wars? Yeah, yeah. Saying like there, there's shit. a person here. And you're blind. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. know there were blind spots. Yeah. 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 Wow. So, what there's... do you think about Swag's new car? Oh, it's sick. What is, I can't, what is it? It's a Manti GT3. So, oh, so, that, so that kit's like 80K. It's literally a yeah. race car. It, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's not. No. A G- okay, you just told me it was a race car. No, so no, <laughs> so the, the way Porsche does it is confusing as fuck. Okay, right, right. Because their GT4 car, is a Porsche has the <clears throat> GT4, which is a street car. Okay. A GT4 CS is a race car. Okay. And then they came out with the RS, which anytime you see RS, that's a street car. Okay. The Porsche is so fucking complicated. Yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, there's with Swag's car. There's a GT3, a GT3 RS. Uh, you've seen my 3 RS, right. right? And then the actual race car is called a GT3 R. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's super. <laughs> I mean, he he basically has a race car kit on it. Yeah. But the car's street legal. Damn. But it's not. It's not anything like actual race cars i try to get him i tried to see if he would give me the g-wagon now that he has that but i don't think he's gonna do it i don't know still pending still pending what for free yeah i think because we're boys i've talked to him like six times so shit i don't know about i don't know it'll be enough bro that's a you got an ice cubes chance in hell on that one bro (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> a free G wagon. I've seen his G wagon. It's, it's fire, it's, dude. Yeah, it's so sick. It's not cheap. No, it's definitely not cheap. Um, what, what do you think about uh, races like the like the the TT or the Isle of Man? Oh, that's crazy. Crazy. It's yeah. nuts, right? Yeah, that's the wildest. That's probably the wildest race in the world. The the Isle of Man. The yeah. Isle of Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like one of the only modern day races where they're truly risking their lives yeah you know like f1 the safe safety standard is insane now yeah like it, across the board like i mean dude i'm in like i said single a racing right right but i still have a helmet eject kit so it's like a little airbag that sits in my helmet that if i get a wreck say i break my neck or something like that or they think it's broken they'll come over pump this airbag like full of air. Okay. And the helmet will just slide straight off. Oh wow. And that dude, it was like sixty bucks. So that you don't Yeah, move it, your and, head and it's mandatory, right? Wow, okay. Yeah. So like the Isle of Man, they don't even wear helmets. Bro, Isle of Man, <laughs> they get in a fucking well no, they were they Yeah, were, no, yeah, yeah. they definitely do. But still nothing can you know save you from that stone brick wall. Yeah. Right. Like Isle of Man's dude. And those, they, they race cars, too. I mean, I know they're mostly known for the motorcycles, I don't think, but... I don't think they race cars. Do they? Look, Can you look it up? Isle of Man cars. I know they race motorcycles. They race uh, tandems. And I'm almost positive they have a car, a car at least... They race tandems? That's crazy. Yeah. Imagine being in the passenger. Oh, my God. And you're just... Well, you're just fucking... Just you're shake. Le- you're leaning and shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm confused about is how anyone from Isle of Man TT... Has significant others, dude. Bro, they, they, there's no way they yeah, can look. be married doing this. Uh, stock car racing, Isle of Man. I would actually be way. I think it was just a lap. Oh, it's just a They're lap. Probably not. Racing. Holy fuck! 
Yeah. A buck thirty going. I mean, on I mean those still, roads. I'd be. A car is so much safer than a bike. Yeah, and, and the bikes are going like what one seventy, one sixty. Oh yeah. And the the cars are going one forty. I mean, this is just like a time trial, probably. Yeah. Yeah, they're not actually racing, racing. Oh, I don't think yeah. I don't think Dial a Man is a race. No, I think no, it's no motorcycles. It is. They don't. It's not three, two, one, go, and fi- fifty yeah, I, motorcycles. I think, actually, go. Actually, you might be right. I think I think they go like qualifying. Yeah, like, I think they go one at a time, yeah. but people still do pass. Yeah, I watched like a like a mini doc on it. Yeah, they're they're like the the cra- like they're the craziest racers fucking ever because even yeah even racers are like i would never do that shit <laughs> yeah that's insane and there's one guy the one of the the motorcycle guys i probably talked about this on nine podcasts but what the 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 guy who goes first yeah even the other island man racers are like i would never do that that's crazy and he gets a thrill out of going first oh and there's God. there's pebbles and birds and shit because yeah. there's no yeah. you know what i mean yeah. there's no well, fucking it's such a long track too yeah like, well, it's fucking crazy long circuit you never know what's coming up. Would you ever go and watch? Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's I, I mean dude, that's like that's like a bucket list really? for me now. Yeah, that's what that's what Lamont was. Um dude, wild story about how I got in. So at that race, like three hundred and fifty thousand people are there. Right? Wow. And what? Yeah. D- doing yeah. what? Just watching the race. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. How did I never I've never even yeah. heard of this race? Okay, well, okay. well what the racing that I'm doing is like huge in europe yeah it's huge i wouldn't say it's huge in the rest of the world but the rest of the world knows about it yeah um yeah it's just it's sort of just like you know how we sort of discovered f1 after the netflix yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um like it's i don't know how we view f1 in america is how like europe would view sports car racing Okay. And F one's just above that for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um but So they don't think NASCAR's a joke? No, they probably do. <laughs> they probably do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> at least the people I talk to do. Yeah, uh, I I can imagine. Yeah. I mean it don't get me wrong, it's still racing. It's just the techniques. Like there's again, only on oval. Yeah. Like if if it were up to me, I'd say okay, get rid of the oval stuff. Maybe one one or two a year, right? And let's race the day, on the ra- Daytona. Yeah, let's ra- Daytona's yeah. got to be oval. Yeah, yeah, and let's race on actual circuits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those cars are racing on actual circuits is fucking hilarious. Like, <laughs> Why? Because they don't turn that well. <laughs> they don't fucking turn that well. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. Yeah, I mean, that's you. that's fucking incredible. The the fact, like you said, you retired. Yeah. And you know, like, I mean, not to get morbid, but you know when like someone's significant other passes away, and then all of a sudden they're over it, like immediately, and you're mm-hmm. like, did you ever get a chance to like, like settle down or mourn or like move yeah. on or even if you maybe not pass away, but if you get broken up with and they're in a they're in a relationship yeah. immediately after you're yeah. like, did, are you good? Like, should yeah. you take time to yourself? That's, I think that's how we all felt. Yeah. When you were like retired racing sim, yep. it was like a week apart. Yeah. And, uh, we were all worried about you, but I mean, now you're winning chips yeah. and again. So. I mean, yeah. And then the <laughs> next race coming up and that's yeah. sort of the season finale. Okay. My first year of racing. That's insane. Right now I need uh it's like twenty six points, something like okay. that. And I believe that's equivalent to like fifteenth twice. How how's the uh so, Wow, and then what, what happens after that? Then uh then we have one more six hour race. Which is actually gonna be like my first real endurance race. Okay. Um with teammates. How many? So, uh, probably two or three. Two, okay. two or three. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. And, and then, and is that, there a promotion? Is there a? Are you chasing a promotion or no? Are you can stay in GT four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to so, remember what you've told me. I mean, yeah, no. That I mean, so right now for next year, I think ideally, number one, the biggest thing to me is like, I need to be able to practice it on the sim. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. if I can't do that. And I'm going against people who, you know, have raced this track. Like, yeah. like say next year I go in a series 
on a car that's not on the sim at tracks I've never been to, right? Mm -hmm. Versus people who have done this car in this layout on this track, yeah, like five times. Okay. Like I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm an, I'm not gonna do well. Yeah, right. Yeah. But as long as I can practice it on the sim, like I think I'll do perfectly fine. Okay. But the goal is to move up. Um, maybe right now I I don't, don't want to spill any beans, but goal is to move up one or two levels. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. And then and then it'll pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> Three levels, it'll pay the bill. <laughs> three levels, it will. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But three levels is unrealistic. We'll try to get to three battles. Yeah. Three levels. Then. I don't think three levels. That's like going from fucking a game battles team ladder team to fucking phase clan. <laughs> you know, or the optic. I mean, hey, you did it. Yeah, but that was. <laughs> you could do it twice. I mean, <laughs> that was when it was hobby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that. Yeah. Imagine if. Yeah. It's. I mean. <laughs> final note like the weirdest thing about racing is the better you get the more money you need mm. so damn you know the cars are racing now in single a right yeah are 300k right the highest level of endurance racing those hyper cars dude i think they're probably i don't think it's disclosed but it's like two to six million Jeez. per car i think the average is like four Wow. Yeah. How much are F1 so, cars? So, so would you trust me coming from single A? It depends. If, is it my money? Yeah. No. Uh, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I wouldn't trust but, anyone, yeah, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might trust it like a pro, right? Yeah. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah. maybe. So that's sort of the difficult part of, <laughs> of racing. Yeah. I can imagine. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Around the Bar. If you want to continue watching, the rest of the episode will be up on the Patreon um, for anyone that wants to go check it out. Thank you so much. We will see you guys in the next one. Peace.